here I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Jacuzzi JD300. Also how to change the diaphragm out in the cleaner. And note that this is a new cleaner, but I'll show you how to change all the wear parts on it. To get the bumper ring off the cleaner, simply push back like this, holding it like this. It should slide right off. Okay, to get the fin disc off, you simply pull here like this, and it should slide right off the foot pad. If you're just changing the diaphragm, go ahead and unscrew this part here. You're going to take this part and push with your hand. And the diaphragm just pulls right out. Then you simply take it off here. Then you'll simply put the new diaphragm back on. So they get the diaphragm back on, go ahead and slide this into the mouth of the cleaner. Push back as far as you can. Then go ahead and take your hands and push the diaphragm in. Once this part is back here, just pull up firmly. Then you simply put this part back on. So it's very easy to change the diaphragm. If you need to change the foot pad on the bottom, you want to separate this here from the body. You can see that there's a clip holding this on here, right here. Simply pull up like this. We'll do the same thing on this side here. And clip that. And then on the back here, push up with your fingers. Pull this part right off. So now you can easily take your hand and peel the foot pad off. And the foot pad should come right off. And I find that it helps a little if you wet the cleaner and the foot pad. We're going to slide it on here. And okay, then you'll take a screwdriver. Go ahead and pull the foot pad over the lip of the cleaner like this. And just work your way around the cleaner like this. The screwdriver pulling the foot pad up. So it's pretty easy, it just takes a little bit of time to pull the foot pad up around the cleaner. So to get the fin disc on, go ahead and put it over the front like this. Once you have it over the front like that, simply pull back on it like this. It should slide right over the foot pad. Okay, now you'll take the bumper ring and slide it on the cleaner like this, and then you're going to push down firmly. Just slide over like that and it should spin. So that's how you change the diaphragm, the foot pad, the fin disc, and also the bumper ring on the JD300. So once you have all the parts off, if you want to change out the chamber assembly inside the body, there are two screws holding on the body here. You want to take a small screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and remove these screws. Okay, you want to continue pulling on the body. Okay, now you should be able to pull this ring right off here like this. This whole piece should slide out. And if the chamber assembly is worn out, go ahead and replace it. It's fairly easy to disassemble the cleaner to get to it. You'll take the chamber and slide it in here like this. It should fit like that. We'll take the float, put it right here. We'll take the weight, we'll set it right here. We're going to put the ring on like this. Slide it on. Snap this part on. When you get back here, you want to slide it underneath the ring.
And I'm gonna put the two screws back in. And once you have the screws in, we're gonna put all the parts back on. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.